Karl Rove on the Georgia race. The thought was that early voting would benefit Democrats. He says it's early voting is benefiting Republicans in Georgia. In fact, let's take a look at the returns and let's see if this enthusiasm. Her implication was 1.2 million people have already voted. Uh Uh-uh. 259,959 people have returned their ballot. That is 52 percent of the number that had voted 22 days before the general election. 497,439. Now, remember, it ends up being 1.3 million total, but 22 days out, as we are today, 22 days out, only 52 percent as many people have voted. They are less Democrat, they're less black, and 60 percent plus of them are 60 years, six years or older, meaning more likely to be Republican voters. So I, I, I don't know what her deal was there, except to sort of raise ex- expectations that they were already in the lead. But this is a fight to the finish, and the Republicans are doing pretty good right now. They got a long way to go. Early voting began on Monday. The first days, a couple of days of that tend to be heavily Democrat. But Republicans won the early voting, and I anticipate that they will win it as well. Now, at around 6.40, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be on the Hannity Show with Leo Terrell talking about Obama and Obama's criticism of the slogan, defund the police. He's being hammered on social media. Historically, right, they all, the, the concern... By the left, of course. ...in these debates is also, uh, is often, uh, oh, are, 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 are we just trying to make white people comfortable rather than speaking truth to power, Right. That's the framework we tend to think about these things. What right. the hell? Yeah. The, the, the issue to me is not making them comfortable. What the hell is he even talking about? Do you understand what he's even saying? Do you have any idea what he's even saying? He wants to be woke. Knows damn well the whole thing is BS.